My name is Armand Bedrosian. I'm a prosthodontist in San Francisco. I attended the University of Pacific from my undergraduate dental school program, and then I was fortunate enough to attend the University of Washington for my graduate prosthodontic residency, and now reside in my hometown where I have my private practice. This is the EZR Zirconia and Lithium Disilicate Polishing Kit. And as you see, when you initially uncover it, there are three stages of polishing. You have the blue rubber coarse grit grinders, you have the green uh, medium grit polishers, and then you have the orange fine grit. And let's just briefly go through the reasoning or rationale of each one. And so, as you can see here with these two different shapes and again each kit comes with a little guide to help you understand the sequence as well as how to do it but these are rubber polishing tips that have diamonds embedded in them and these are actually nice for extensive grinding of the interproximal areas as well as the occlusal areas we actually prefer to use these rather than the fine diamond just because of less impact less micro fractures and just more control of reduction once that's done, then we can use the medium grit green. We like to use these for the occlusals. We like to use the flat disc one for the interproximals. And again, this just further polishes the zirconia. And we know from all the studies that a polished surface is much more biologically accepted than any glaze or anything else. So we wanna make sure we do that. And then finally follow up with the final fine grit ones, which are an orange. And again, we're gonna go right now through a step-by-step -step process of how we like to adjust and polish zirconia. Here, of course, it would be nice to have a clinical presentation, but this is a three unit zirconia bridge. And what I'd like to do every time is have a checklist as far as how to assure we have complete seat of the restoration. And so we always wanna check contacts. And so with a nice AccuFilm occlusion paper, we can mark the interproximals when we seat it intraorally and make sure that we have nice Inter interproximal contacts without any heaviness. If it's too heavy of a contact, it might impact the full seat, as well as the ovate pontic, make sure it's not being too uh, heavy on that uh, edentulous space, which can also prevent full seat of the zirconia prostheses. If we had to adjust because of a heavy contact, and if it's too extensive of a, a reduction, again, what we can use is this rubber-based wheel, which has diamonds impregnated in them and we can go ahead right here and gently polish and remove the heavy AccuFilm mark that may be found in the interproximal areas. Remember now, especially with these electric hand pieces, you wanna have heavy water just to keep cool and irrigate while you're polishing or adjusting the zirconia. Once that's done, then you can go ahead, increase the polish and remove any of the roughness that's there with the subsequent steps of the green polisher and then the orange polisher. If we had a very heavy, heavy contact interproximally, we would go ahead and start off with the blue rubber diamond impregnated polisher. As you see there, the water is cooling the zirconia as well as the burr as we are adjusting the interproximal contact. Now it's quite rough. And again, this burr is only used for extensive reduction. So your lab should probably use this as when you get it received from the lab, it should be pretty much spot on or close to. If you have to use this clinically, then you wanna follow up for sure with the green medium grit one. And once you have the medium grit polisher in, again, underwater, you're going to go ahead and polish that surface and under irrigation and keep it cool and then you're going to finish off with the orange fine grit to keep that nice and smooth not to, not only for floss to not rip or tear but also for ad bacterial adhesion uh, to make sure that the surface is nice and polished. So that's how you would go ahead and adjust the interproximal and uh, once it's fully seated You'll, you'll do the same thing with the AccuFilm along the occlusal, and whatever your occlusal scheme is, you would then adjust accordingly. And again, most likely not have to use the blue ones and just solely use the green medium grit followed by the orange fine grit, and it should be just fine. So you're finding with, with the, after you've seated the crown or the bridge, yeah. 
that you might have a little bit of adjustment on the occlusal surface that you don't even need to go to the blue. You can do yeah, the and adjustment to, and, with and the and green. To, and to be honest with you, I, I adjust, uh, I check the occlusion too before I cement. Okay. But I mean, that's somewhat difficult to do, especially with the bridge, especially the maxilla, gravity's in playing a role, so is it fully seated? So I'm just trying to make sure, first of all, on the, on the model, is it, is it within the, the, my scheme that I want? Second, when I try it in, and it, maybe I can put some try-in paste in order to help retain it, but anything we can to just check in the mouth and make sure that the occlusion is close to perfect, okay. there's always gonna have to be maybe some fine tuning of the occlusion, and if so, you're, you shouldn't have to use the blue in the mouth. You should just solely use the green and the orange and it should be just fine.